Frank J. Barrett, yes, to the mess, surprising leadership lessons from jazz. Venture into the intriguing world of jazz and discover leadership lessons that can transform the way organizations function. And yes, to the mess, surprising leadership lessons from jazz, Frank J. Barrett draws parallels between the creative process of jazz musicians and the dynamic approaches required in today's ever-changing business environment. Explore the book summary that unveils the significance of collaborative experimentation, calculated risks, minimal structure, and guided autonomy for fostering innovation in the 21st century data-based economy. Learn how saying yes to the mess can lead to better results and inspired improvisation within organizations. Learning Key Business Lessons from Jazz Music Frank J. Barrett, a professor of management, and a professional jazz musician draws parallels between the unconventional and collaborative nature of jazz musicians and business organizations. In his book, he explains how the rigid leadership structure can stifle creativity, and improvisational leadership encourages collaboration and risk-taking. Companies ought to learn from jazz and embrace a more creative and open-minded approach to problem-solving in today's fast-paced world. USA Today called this book engaging and convincing, while Forbes found it breezy and fun, and 800 CEO Red praised it as a powerful guide to staying focused at work. Jazzing Up Corporate Culture In The Art of Possibility, Rosamund Stone Zander and Benjamin Zander teach their readers how to improve their attitudes by recognizing their self-imposed limits and developing wonder. The author of The Art of Possibility, Frank Barrett, shares a similar message in Yes to the Mess. He suggests that businesses function more effectively when their structures resemble those of jazz bands. Leaders, like jazz musicians, should improvise, embrace the unknown, and experiment. In the face of uncertainty, creativity, and risk-taking are key factors in success. Barrett provides anecdotes, such as that of Hungarian soldiers who found their way home despite having the wrong map. The soldiers succeeded by not having a predetermined plan and staying flexible as the situation changed. Similarly, Barrett encourages businesses to embrace a plan-as-you-go attitude that values adaptability and experimentation. In short, Barrett encourages readers to learn from jazz musicians who thrive in unpredictability and to make that influence a part of their leadership style. Herman Miller's Buzzworthy Green Factory Learn how Herman Miller, a company known for designing environmentally friendly spaces, tackled the problem of hostile wasps with a creative and sustainable solution. Instead of using harmful pesticides, they introduced 600,000 bees to the rooftop hives of their green factory. Not only did the bees drive away the wasps, but they also produced honey, which the company now offers to visitors. In his book, author Barrett draws a parallel between this problem-solving approach and the improvisational nature of jazz music, suggesting that guided autonomy and positive thinking can lead to successful and sustainable leadership. Investing in Minimal Rules the author suggests that firms should invest in minimal rules to promote an environment of improvisation, learning, and creativity. He cites examples of renowned musicians who turned mistakes into memorable performances by taking errors in stride and improvising. The author also advocates for adopting a minimal structure, such as a mission statement or credo, to provide a framework while freeing employees to deviate from normal practices and unleash their imaginations. The Power of Diversity and Experimentation Barrett's book highlights the importance of social interaction and experimentation in achieving transformative innovation. Drawing parallels with jazz improvisation, he argues that successful collaboration requires a mix of skills, leadership, and following. Barrett suggests that designing opportunities for serendipity can help organizations embrace diversity and move away from predictable routines. He encourages leaders to inspire their teams to experiment and consider new approaches, rather than relying solely on analysis and prediction. Achieving Peak Performance Through Jazz-Inspired Improvisation Barrett's book suggests nine steps for organizations seeking peak performance by comparing their work to improvisational jazz. These steps include linking planners with implementers, disrupting routines, 
rotating team leadership, minimizing structures, and nurturing improvisational strategizing in non-stop learning. The approach encourages diversity, playfulness, saying, yes, more, and holding brainstorming jam sessions. Jazz and Leadership This book highlights the connection between jazz and business leadership, with anecdotes from the world of jazz providing insights into leadership. If you're a jazz lover, Barrett's book is a must-read. Even if you're not, there are valuable insights into leadership to be gained from the improvised nature of jazz. Barrett's main point is that there is a lot to be learned about leadership from jazz musicians, who use collaboration, communication, and creativity to create outstanding music. However, the author overreaches in some places, trying to draw connections between jazz and business in improbable ways. Overall, this is a fun and imaginative book that offers useful lessons for anyone seeking to become a better leader. Embrace the chaos and enhance your leadership skills by taking lessons from the world of jazz. The key takeaways from the book summary include harnessing the power of collaborative experimentation and discovery for innovation, focusing on guided autonomy, and the importance of minimal structure in fostering creativity. Frank J. Barrett's A Yes to the Mess demonstrates how jazz improvisation can teach organizations to perform effectively, despite having incomplete information and unpredictable results. By applying these principles and cultivating an environment that values improvisation, organizations can achieve a group dynamic that transcends individual performance and fosters continuous learning.